Welcome back to our exploration of biblical studies. Today we delve into part 6 of our series on the Wellhausen Hypothesis, focusing on the chronology and the critics' perspective on the ordering of biblical books. The casual remarks by some critics suggesting that certain passages are late editions or edited in a particular spirit raise serious questions about their methodology. These aren't isolated verses we're discussing, but a distinct characteristic of the prophetic books. It's hard to imagine entire well-integrated passages from the prophets being uprooted and labeled as mere late additions. Why should we accept such an historically unsubstantiated assumption? Critics who claim that the Book of Kings underwent a double Deuteronomistic editing eventually concede that there is no substantial difference in language, style, or core ideas between the passages they attribute to the late editor and those to the original author. A logical analysis suggests that most stories were written close to the events they describe, with editing that didn't change anything fundamental. This notion of a late Deuteronomistic editing only holds if we assume that the Book of Deuteronomy was written in the days of King Josiah. But if we reject this doubtful hypothesis, there's no need to fragment the organic literary units woven with Deuteronomic style. Even if we debate the meaning of some citations, the overwhelming majority cannot be dismissed. We must also consider how the prophets utilized earlier books, turning yet another page in the history book to find a place for the critics' revolutionary ideas. Acknowledging that the prophets as we have them are later than the Torah, why distort historical logic and fairness by flipping the narrative? Why believe in these fabrications that in ancient times, all prophetic books existed in a form devoid of the Torah and the books of Torah in a form post-dating the prophets, and then one day, history changed its course entirely? Is there a greater absurdity? Even contemporary scholars recognize the immense influence of the Torah on the prophets. This phenomenon should be attributed to the covenant of the people, not to various changes that are not a natural part of the scriptures. If we were to assume that Leviticus was composed during the return to Zion, we would have to conclude that the entire biblical canon, from beginning to end, was composed in that period. This stands in stark contrast to Wellhausen's foundational idea. In our journey through biblical studies, we find that the quest for understanding often leads us back to the texts themselves as they stand, a testament to a rich and complex tradition that has shaped and been shaped by its own history. B-roll, footage of ancient biblical texts being studied and analyzed by scholars. The texts of the Bible are not just words on a page, but windows into the beliefs, values, and experiences of ancient communities. They offer insights into the social, cultural, and religious contexts in which they were written. B-roll, images of ancient artifacts such as scrolls and tablets that contain biblical texts. By examining the language, literary styles, and historical references within the text, scholars can gain a deeper understanding of the messages and meanings they convey. B-roll. Scholars engaged in close reading and analysis of biblical texts, highlighting key passages and making notes. However, biblical studies is not limited to the study of the texts themselves. It also involves exploring the broader historical and cultural context in which the texts were produced. B-roll, images of archaeological sites and historical landmarks related to biblical history. By examining archaeological evidence, historical records, and other ancient texts, scholars can piece together a more comprehensive picture of the world in which the biblical texts were written. B-roll, footage of archaeologists excavating ancient sites and examining artifacts. This interdisciplinary approach allows for a more nuanced understanding of the biblical texts and their significance within their historical and cultural context. It helps us to appreciate the complexity and richness of the biblical tradition. B-roll, montage of different scholars from various disciplines, such as archaeology, history, and linguistics, working together and discussing their findings. As we delve deeper into the world of biblical studies, we discover that there is always more to learn and explore. The texts themselves continue to reveal new insights and raise new questions, inviting us to engage in an ongoing dialogue with the past. B-roll, images of scholars engaged in lively discussions and debates, exchanging ideas and interpretations of biblical texts. 
Through the study of biblical texts and their context, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the enduring impact of these ancient writings and their relevance to our lives today. B-roll. Footage of people reading and studying biblical texts in various settings, such as libraries, classrooms, and churches. Join us on this journey as we explore the world of biblical studies and uncover the treasures that lie within the texts and their context. B-roll. Montage of different biblical scenes and symbols representing the diverse themes and stories found within the biblical texts. 